Hello everyone, my name is Amin Mojara and I am with Imagination Everywhere and the RIA Institute and this is a new video series uh, about Silverlight 3. Uh, Microsoft Silverlight 3 is a cross-browser, cross-platform um, and cross-device uh, plugin for delivering the next generation of .NET based media experiences or rich internet applications uh, for the web. Um, if you go to uh, Silverlight.net uh, you can take a look at uh, Microsoft Silverlight. Uh, Silverlight 3 uh, which is the third version of uh, Silverlight is uh, features many eye catching enhancements to develop enterprise level and high performing what we call rich internet applications or RIA hence that's why we call ourselves the RIA Institute uh, and this is within a secure environment um, the following are some of the uh, capabilities of, of Silverlight 3 um, you get enriched media integration capabilities including live uh, HD you know 720 pixel uh, streaming capabilities uh, using uh, such uh, tools as uh, IIS media services uh, you get true HD playback and full screen using a uh, uh, in full screen using the graphics processing unit acceleration um, support for uh, H.264 advanced audio caching um, encoding AA audio and enhanced uh, content protection you get enhanced visual effects and capabilities with support for prospective 3D graphics pixel shader effects bitmap caching uh, they have a new bitmap API and styling templates. All of this is on uh, Silverlight, uh, the Silverlight.net uh, website. Um, you get improved data integration capabilities such as element-to-element element element binding and data validation and enhanced data grid controls. If you've watched the PHP series, uh, pair PHP series you'll love that you know the .NET data grid control um, is here you have the data form and the data pa uh, pager um, you have extending uh, network ca capabilities such as cross uh, application communication and support for you know binary XML and for better data communication uh, this video series covers all aspects of uh, Silverlight 3 um, this is this playlist is going to be the introductory playlist uh, but um, we'll be doing uh, numerous examples, providing you with hands-on experience, starting by covering Silverlight and its different versions, such as version one, two, and and, and now three. Uh, we'll provide a detailed understanding of WPF, um, XAML, uh, styling templates, uh, Silverlight. Uh, we'll discuss Silverlight uh, user controls, such as the uh, new controls that are introduced in Silverlight 3 uh, so you can build effective presentation uh, layer uh, Silverlight applications um, we will also cover the data integration capabilities and user controls to show you how to integrate with different data sources such as WCF which is the Windows Communication Foundation and Link which is Link Integrated uh, Query um, we'll talk about seamless uh, media integration and animation capabilities uh, and, the, uh, and the enhancements they have had in Silverlight 3 um, this video is being recorded using a Silverlight 2 called an expression encoder screen catcher and as you can see from the, as I begin this series till now um, we've drastically improved I've learned how to use the tool better um, and I think that this is probably even better than Camtasia Studio. Um, I'm I'm comparing the two right now. Um, so we'll the, we'll dive into the capabilities. In addition, uh, we will cover some of the advanced features of uh, Silverlight, such as the navigation framework, the out of browser uh, functionality, uh, network capabilities, security. Uh, we'll cover the uh, the this video series will also give you details on how to unit test. Um, Silverlight applications and the best way to build and deploy these applications. You'll get to understand typical Silverlight bland Visual Studio workflow for creating a Silverlight application. So you know we use uh, here Microsoft Blend. Um, 
this is the blend uh, and we also use uh, Visual Studio um, but we also of course will be using expression design and again I'm using expression encoder right here as a, as a tool to record this uh, video uh, you'll get to know the basics of of XAMO and C sharp and you know you'll get to know all kinds of things of, of uh, about Silverlight um, this video series is for the viewer who knows the basics of object-oriented programming and has some pro programming experience in languages such as JavaScript, ActionScript, Visual Basic, Java, or C. But you know, you, but you haven't used Silverlight. If you understand even just a little bit about object-oriented programming, you can benefit from the, benefit from this uh, video series and start developing Silverlight. However, if you do not have any experience in any of these languages, I'm going to suggest that you use that you go to uh, websites such as uh, uh, apress.com and get Accelerated Civil Light 3. Um, that's one of the books that we'll be working from, and it has a source code uh, that we'll be using. Uh, Foundation uh, Expression Blend with Silverlight, uh, Lynda.com, uh, LearnVisualStudio.net. I have a subscription to that. I also have a subscription to TotalTraining.com. Um, of course, Silverlight has a lot of training videos that you can do that you can use over a hundred. Um, msdn.com Microsoft Developer Network um, Microsoft the Expression uh, site has a lot of video tutorials uh, the Silverlight blogs uh, this is the Silverlight tip of the day by Mike Snow um, Jesse Liberty is the Silverlight geek uh, he's one of my heroes um, Scott Guthrie is is the guru of ASP.net and it is one of the uh, uh, engineers that built ASP.net and is influential over Silverlight 3, Tim Hewer's uh, uh, blog, um, and some of the prerequisites that you're going to need uh, for th for this video series is you're going to have to have installed on your computer, um, th and this is for Windows. Um, you're going to have to um, install Microsoft the .NET Framework uh, 3.5 uh, Service Pack 1. Um, you're going to have to have a copy of Silverlight, Silverlight 3. You can get all this from the Microsoft Silverlight website. Um, you're going to have to have the Silverlight tools for Visual Studio, which is this uh, this development environment. You're going to have to have the Silverlight toolkit. You're going to have to have Microsoft Expression Studio with all the expression products. Um, you're going to have to have the Deep Zoom Composer, which I don't have open right now, but I do have installed on my system. Uh, this uh, Microsoft's uh, Silverlight Dynamic Language uh, uh, Software Development Kit, and you're going to have to have the Silverlight uh, Unit Testing Framework. Now, all of those uh, I have on my system; you just don't see it. But those are some of the prerequ prerequisites. And because this technology is new, and only a handful of people in the world know how to develop with it, this is why I'm doing this video series. Because, and those who can are compensated very well and are are highly sought after it's a rapidly expanding market and more and more companies are looking for Silverlight or even flash developers even though flash is like 10 years old but if you have these skills and then you you'll be a better developer and in demand Silverlight is a very hot topic and there are many many more companies uh, out there looking for civil looking for de uh, designers and developer who can uh, use it well so if you follow uh, close uh, along closely then we can become uh, the great designers and developers of Silverlight I can't promise you that it will be easy but I can promise you that if you get stuck you can email me or post me a comment and I will reply and help you through the help you through your problem I do this in the PHP paired uh, video series and I have no problem doing it now because it's fun doing it and I want everybody to learn so get ready um, the next uh, video is going to be basically discussing what Silverlight is we're going to explore the Silverlight.net website and so just get ready to have some fun with Silverlight